Hello tips and tricksters, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another Vinci Tips and Tricks video. Today is full of firsts, it's the first time I've ever done SFX makeup. That was really fun. <laughs> I'll let you guys decide what happened to me because I'm not really sure. I was thinking maybe I gave pumpkin carving a go for the first time and my trial run didn't work out very well. In this video I'm also going to be carving my first pumpkin or jack-o'-lantern. I'm gonna go really traditional with this one just cause it's my first time, but I just thought it would be fun to share it with you guys for Halloween. I don't know about the rest of the world, but we here in France are in our first day of lockdown. So Halloween's gonna be a quiet one, but I thought we could share it together. So let's get started. What have you got? If you show you my makeup because I'm very proud of it. I used uh, latex and cotton and oh, now I have it everywhere. <laughs> but yes, I'm very proud of my of my makeup and SFX job and I'm supposed to look like I've sort of been strangled and had something bad happen to me here, I don't know. <sighs> Halloween stuff, you know? So, I have not done this before. It is my first time. I grew up in Australia. You don't really celebrate Halloween in Australia, but I have so many followers from the US and I've got many friends now from the US who are really, really into Halloween and it's kind of drawn me into the spirit. So I really wanted to do a pumpkin and here in France they were in all of the supermarkets so it was very easy to get one and I just figured I could no longer resist. I think I have the good side. This is like the flat side there and this seems to be the pretty side so I'm going to work there. I did read that you should cut a little door in the back rather than cutting into the top, but I like the idea of lifting his head off. So I am going to do that even though I've heard that the stem continues to give nutrients after the pumpkin's been cut, so it will probably die sooner, but I just feel like going traditional, you know. I really hope that my knife is strong enough to cut through this. I guess we'll find out. Here we go guys, wish me luck. Oh yeah, it seems like it'll be okay. I watched Christine McConnell's Jack O'Lantern uh, live stream the other night. That was really, really fun. She went kind of traditional and of course did a Christine take on it by doing some modeling clay eyebrows and stuff on it, which looked really, really good. I do have some modeling clay, but I don't know that I'm gonna attempt that on my first ever Jack O'Lantern. I probably have the world's worst technique, but this knife may or may not be the best choice. This top is very wonky. I have a feeling my jack-o'-lantern is not going to be very beautiful, but you know, them's the breaks. I put the fire on in the background for you guys over there and I was going to film over there. So we had like a nice cozy vibe going on, but the lighting was terrible because there's doors either side in this room and the light was behind me and then nothing was lighting up my face. It like casted a big shadow. So. Now it's just really hot in here <laughs> for no reason. <laughs> It'll be good tonight when it's colder, but right now, boy, does it just feel really, really warm. Feel free to give me tips on how to do this better for next time. But so far, so good. I think I might cut this into here and then scoop it all out together at once. I'm not afraid to get my hands dirty, so that doesn't bother me. I'm just gonna stick my hand in here and get all the seeds out. I might have to roast some pumpkin seeds because that's very yummy. Especially on top of curry. If you do a veggie curry, guys, it's good with seeds and stuff. Sprinkle toasted seeds on the top. It's nice. So this Halloween, I was supposed to go to a dinner party with Tuppence a Penny at Rachel's house, Rachel from my duo, B and Ray vocal duo. Um, but of course I came to France unexpectedly. So now I'm in lockdown and there will be no Halloween plans. So hence why uh, this video is a bit out a bit later than I was expecting to put it out. However, I think because of the confinement here, it could be kind of nice for us to do something Halloween-y together, considering I'm sure many people are in the same boat as me where they can't go out for Halloween. So, or maybe you don't feel safe going out for Halloween or, you know, whatever the reason is, uh, at least we're doing something Halloween-y together. The sun is shining on me from that window and lighting up my scabby eye. I 
hope the lighting is okay. I'll have to keep an eye on the screen, make sure I don't get too bright. This is gonna get full on. Ugh, goopy. Uh oh, making a mess. The good news is that the house cleaner came today, so I'm making a mess immediately after the whole house got cleaned. How do you guys like to do your pumpkins? I researched on the internet and I wanted to do one of those ones where you like carve it and um, you know you do like gradients so you cut where you want the most light and then you can do different levels of um, cutting into the flesh or the skin so that it looks really cool and like shaded but I thought for my first time that might be a little bit ambitious. <laughs> so I just wanted to start like really standard. And I think those, like if you look at old 1930s, 40s and 50s pictures, they're like so creepy. They're like really sort of poorly done jack-o'-lanterns just seem so creepy to me. Whereas the ones that are really artistically done, they look really, really cool, but it doesn't look very scary. You know what I mean? Whereas a jack-o'-lantern just, yeah, super creepy. Oh, this literally feels like guts, it's so gross. I heard that putting hairspray on the inside of your pumpkin also works as well. Have you guys done any of this? Do you know how it goes? Does it work well? Look at that sunshine. I think I might have to close the shutters over there. Two seconds. Much better. Okay, so let's get these guts out. So where you guys live, I know many of you are in the US, but if you're from anywhere else or if you're from the US as well, anyone, anyone can answer, but like, do you guys really get into Halloween? I know the UK and France are really a bit like Australia. They don't really get into Halloween that much, but I kind of think it's really cool that America gets into it so much. Not so much on the commercial side, but all my friends really get into doing like SFS makeup and sewing costumes and I think that's all really cool and I love that there's lots of adults that still do it so you're not kind of like you're embracing like that childhood fun which I think you know we don't get many opportunities to do that as adults so I really like that kind of Halloween is that type of year it's also a time of year to get really creative if you're not somebody who's in a creative field so yeah I actually really like the concept I don't really like all of the commercialized crap, but I'm like that with every season. Like I still love Christmas, but I hate all the commercial side of Christmas. All right, I think that will do. It's a nice big bowl of seeds there. I think I need to wash my hand because it's very wet and slippery and I feel like that could be another accident waiting to happen. Okay, let's give this guy some facial features. I could go in and get like really specific and try and make it look perfect by using a marker first. But as I said, I kind of wanted to have that hack job look to it, like a lot of the like kids 1950s style ones were. So I'm just gonna go for it. I think I'm gonna do two triangles for the eyes, maybe a triangle or a circle for the nose and then like a jagged mouth with teeth in it. Let's see how I go. So if you're actually watching this on Halloween, happy Halloween. If you aren't in confinement, like we are here in France, what are you up to? Why are you watching this video? Why aren't you out doing something Halloween-y? Are you just playing it safe or did you not get invited anywhere? Or is it before you're going out? Tell me about your day. I would love to hear what you guys are up to. You could make the world's smallest pumpkin soup out of the bits that I cut out. <laughs> so, so far, progress report. We have this. I don't think that's too bad considering I'm just hacking on in there. My greatest fear is that I'm just gonna drop the pumpkin while I show it to you guys and then this whole thing is just over. That would be a Halloween tragedy, which might actually be a successful Halloween. Is a Halloween tragedy like a positive thing on Halloween? Like, I don't know. Is that kind of the point? <laughs> I don't even know what I'm talking about now. What? I kind of want his eyes closish together. I think when their eyes are closer together, they look a bit more evil. A level of concentration. Like this is not really a YouTube friendly video because I'm like concentrating a lot on not chopping myself, but I guess I'll just have to cut for you guys. It's not like you can really see what I'm doing anyway. Why aren't you coming out? 
Ah, there we go. It's definitely a bit of a hack job. See, I've got one eye bigger than the other. He had a poor, poor plastic surgeon over here, literally butchering him. It's okay, I think it's fixable. You know what, if at first you don't succeed, hack, hack again. Don't tell Bernadette. This is why I need a dog and not cats. They would come and lick the floor. Yes! Ooh, feeling good about that. It's got the evil pointy eyes going on. Yes. Do I even want a nose? I'm not even sure I want one. I think just eyes and a really scary mouth might be the way to go. Let's hack on into this baby. I was gonna do like um, normal teeth, like square teeth, but my in focus, it keeps going out of focus, but I feel like it might look better with a zigzag mouth now that I've seen the eyes. Because some jack-o'-lanterns kind of look friendly and dumb and like they're gonna come to life but you could have a good time with them, you know? Some look really scary. This one's turning out scary. So I think we'll run with that. This is actually quite a workout on the arms after my doing practically nothing for a long time during lockdown. So, you know. Oh, his mouth is like so wonky but I love it. What a piece of work. I think I should have been a plastic surgeon, guys. It's just talent going to waste here. Yes, I am feeling this. I can't wait to show you guys. Love a good hack job. Yes. Being dangerously close to the angle of my arm. Like if I slipped, I just get an unfortunate wound. Is this gonna come out in one nice clean piece? That's the question. I think she might. See if I can get it out in one piece on camera for you guys. Oh. That came. Ah, oh. broke his teeth off. I kind of like it. <laughs> like he lost a tooth. What a creep. He's pretty scary. I would think about eyebrows, but I'm not sure about my finesse, whether I would do a good job. I kind of like him as is. Let's put his hat on. Let's see what we think. No, it doesn't go that way. It goes this way. Put his hat on, guys. What do you reckon? I kind of love him as is. It's my baby. You're ugly, but I love you just the way you are. There you go, guys. Let's have a nice close up of my jack o' lantern. His mouth is kind of butchered, but I kind of love it. Now I need to light it. Okay, guys, so Bernadette very kindly found me two candles to pop inside. Bell's mum is so cute. We had this little one, but she said he needed one for each eye, and I'd have to say, she's quite right. Ooh, yeah. Can I stay there? Yes. Love that. She's so on the ball, that Bernadette. Yeah, look at that. That looks so good. See, Bernadette knows what she's doing. What a pro she is. How is that? I love it. Guys, it's my first pumpkin, my baby. I tried putting one of these weenie ones in his mouth, but they don't fit. But I don't want to start hacking away at him in case it makes him look bad or I slip and I like cut through here. So I'm just gonna leave him as is because I like him. Pop down below what you think his name should be and I will choose the name and pop it in the comments on the Instagram post. Okay guys, so that is the video. I hope you liked it. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe and comment down below. Let me know what you thought of the video and any suggestions for future videos. Follow me on Instagram. Check out my Patreon. It is linked down below for extra content and perks for different tiers. Otherwise, I will see you in the next video. Bye.